Okay, so after about a month and a half of waiting, I finally got my Hybrid Theory 20th Anniversary box set. And I'm real excited to check it out. And I already know what's inside here. I watched Mike Shinoda's unboxing living on Lincoln Park's channel. So it won't be like a super crazy, like, oh shit, type of moment. But it'll still be cool. So let me open it a little bit. I kind of started opening it already because it's a pain in the ass to open one-handed. There we go. Okay. First of all, really cool fucking cover. It's like a gold metallic version of the Hybrid 3 cover. Alright, and this was actually on the outside. I put it inside. Uh, this was on the back of it. Underneath the the wrap, the cellophane wrapping. So I put it inside because I obviously I want to keep this because it's tight as fuck. It's like the insert for the album. Alright, first and foremost we got um, the Linkin Park Hybrid Theory picture book. Let's see if I can pop this bitch out real quick. There we go. So this is cool. This is full of like um, pictures, obviously, but it's like exclusive photographs from like around the time they recorded Hybrid Theory. So like different photo shoots they did, promos, all that stuff. And I'm pretty sure this is all shit that like nobody's seen before. It's like exclusives, which is always cool. I'll just kind of skim through it a little bit. Obviously, like, there's some variations of, like, that's on the back cover of, of Hybrid 3. It's slightly different, but it's, it looks like it's from the same photo shoot. Got some live stuff, which is cool. I have seen this picture, so... Actually, I think that is... I think that's the, that's the back cover of Hybrid 3, right? I'm not tripping. It's black and white, so it's throwing me off a little bit. That's cool. Zero. All the, all, it looks like all the different, like, uh... Like, show flyers from back when they first started, which is tight. Yeah, these are, these are like the back cover. Different versions of the, the Street Soldier. The one that everybody knows. Just gonna throw it a little bit. I won't go through the whole thing, it's, it's like a 50 page book, but. Yeah, there's like Chester's tattoos. Live stuff. That's a cool picture. I would love to have that. It's like a poster. I, that looks like it's from the the uh, in the end the reanimation version uh, music video. That's cool. Brad without the fro. That's how you know this was a long time ago. <laughs> I want that as a poster too. That's tight as fuck. But yeah, that's tight. I like that. Different, like, is that like single art? Yeah. Alright. So, there's more, but like I said, I don't want to go through the whole thing. And then we've got some exclusive prints. So this is like a redone version of the soldier that Mike did. Uh, it's hard to do one-handed. There we go. So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Might throw that on my wall. Now, when I watched Mike's video, he told me, or not me specifically, he told the audience watching, um, you know, the name of each of the artists that did these. I know he did The Soldier, but I don't remember who did these last two. So I apologize for that, but they killed this shit. That's dope as fuck. That's like some comic book style shit. And then we've just got like a print of the band's faces, which is tight. Okay, this is... Um, a poster of that picture of Chester's hands that was in the book. Let's see if I can. This will definitely go up somewhere. I don't know where, but it, it'll end up somewhere. So that's cool. Uh, it might go in the studio. It might go on my wall. I don't know, but that's that's tight as fuck. I like that a lot. Alright, so, try to keep everything organized. Then we come to the vinyl. Now, I already got this on vinyl, because obviously I'm a massive Linkin Park fan, and y'all know I've been collecting vinyl for like four years. So, obviously, I, Hybrid Theory is already in my collection. 
man, this shit's hard to get out. Here we go. But it came with the box set. So now I got two copies. Oh, well. I ain't complaining. Same with reanimation. I already have this on vinyl, but now I got two. So this I do not have. Don't nobody got this. Well, except for the people that ordered this box set. Because this was never on vinyl until now. This is Linkin Park's Hybrid Theory EP. I shouldn't even say Linkin Park because this is before the band was called Linkin Park. So, if you get a quick little breakdown, when they first started, the band was called Zero. It was the same lineup with a, with a different lead singer. That lead singer wasn't trying to sing no more, so he left. Um, they held auditions for a new singer. That's how Chester joined. And then they changed uh, the name of the band to Hybrid Theory. Um, and they put this this EP out. Uh, they ended up changing it to Linkin Park again for like legal reasons, and Hybrid Theory became the name of the first album they put out, but still cool. Um, I've heard all these songs before, but it's cool to actually have them on wax now. Carousel's a good song. Technique is just like one of the DJ shit, like, you know, fucking, um, like Session or like uh, Cure for the Itch, that type of shit. Step Up's really cool. That's like a a mic based song, so it's like mostly him rapping. And one I think was the first I could be wrong. I think that was the first song that Chester actually recorded with the band. Or the first one he wrote with the band. One of those two, I don't remember. High voltage is tight. Um if y'all are like real Linkin Park fans, you've definitely heard high voltage. But this is like the original version of the song, which is cool. It's more it's more hip hop. Whereas the the one that's on like the deluxe version of Hybrid Theory is more is more rock. And then part of me, I don't remember, but I'm sure I've heard it before, so I'm excited to check it out. And then, yeah, I love this artwork. It's like a creepy version of the baby on the back, and that's tight. And now, the CDs and the DVDs and, like, the smaller shit. So, first off, uh, exclusive 20th anniversary edition of Hybrid Theory. I already have Hybrid Theory on CD, but... Like I said, it's a different version, so that's cool. Reanimation. I actually don't have reanimation on CD, so that's cool to finally have. Uh, and then we got like a download code for um, like all the digital versions of basically everything in this box set, which is cool. Yeah, download audio tracks from this box set, so I can do that now. I can have all this shit on my phone or my laptop. Then we got a replica reproduction whatever you want to call it of um an old lincoln park project revolution um laminate project revolution was a music festival that they started uh, that was popping back in the day so it's cool to have this i put all this shit back where it was And then we got another replica reproduction of the original sampler that they had. So this is a cassette sampler of, um, is it, I think it's One Step Closer and, yeah, One Step Closer and With You. So this is like some shit they used to hand out basically to promote the band um, when they first got signed. So they'd, like, give this out at shows, or, like, the street team would go out and be like, yo, check out this band, tie that type of shit. So, it's cool. I don't got a cassette player, so I might take me a while to actually get to listen to this, but, I, you know, I've heard One Step Closer and With You, but it's still cool to have. Just, you know, as a collectible. Then we got some DVDs. This is, um... Frat Party at the Pancake Festival, which was like a documentary, sort of like behind the scenes type of DVD they put out in like 2001, I think. It's actually out of print, but I actually do own an original copy of the DVD, because eBay. <laughs> but now I got like this 20th anniversary edition of it. I don't know if there's like some exclusive shit on here that wasn't on the original, but it's, it's still cool to have. Um, And then they actually put out two new DVDs that are exclusive to this box set. So they found enough footage to basically make a sequel to Frat Party. And this one's called uh, Project Revolution 2002 
the sequel to the DVD with the worst name we've ever come up with. So they literally, they found enough footage to make another, like, full-length documentary-style movie. So, I'm excited, I'm really excited to watch this. And then they also did, um, a live, or two, this is two, they had two separate live performances from 2001. Uh, one at the Fillmore and one at Rock and Ring. I've seen the Rock and Ring one, um, uh, on YouTube. But... It'll still be cool to watch in, like, higher quality. So that's cool. Cool DVDs. And then some, like, exclusive CDs. We got the LPU Rarities, which is, like, um, B-sides and shit. And, like, you know, rare live performances and shit like that. Or, like, demos that are kind of hard to find. We got the original In the End demo. Um, you know live version of With You, a live version of High Voltage, um, Esau, which is the demo version of A Place For My Head, um, you know, all types of shit like that, it's cool, oh, the Points of Authority Crystal Method remix, so that's like a different version of the remix that's on reanimation, that's cool, then we got the Forgotten Demos, this cover is kind of cool, it's like a play on um, the EP they put out when the band was called Zero, which is tight. So we got, um, Picture Board, Dilate, She Couldn't, Rhinestone, Esau again, Carousel. So some of the shit that's on, it's like different versions of some of the same songs that are on these other CDs, but there's some exclusive shit here too. Like She Couldn't, they actually put out as like a promo single for this version of, um, the album, which is tight. Oh, this is actually I'm I'm stupid. So this is the forgotten demos. This is the, this is not the B sides. This is the LPU rarities. So LPU is uh, the Lincoln Park Underground, which is like uh, the band's fan club. Um, and what they used to do was like they'd um, give access to like exclusive songs, exclusive like demos and different versions of songs to members of the LPU Underground. So this is like shit. That basically, unless you were part of the LP Underground, you never heard before. So this is this is cool. Now I am part of the LP Underground, but I joined recently. I put it off for a very long time, just because I I don't know. I'm a bad fan. <laughs> um, so I never got any of the exclusive shit because they stopped doing it in like 2016. Um, but. So cool to have. But anyway, yeah. So this is the Forgotten Demos. And then this is the B-Sides. Um, so we got like... Let me check it out. The Rock Mix is One Step Closer. So I've actually heard that. It's basically the same. They just took out the turntables and made it a little bit heavier. Uh, it's Going Down. The Executioners featuring Mike Shinoda and Mr. Han. That's a good song. Um, the live versions of some of the songs from Hybrid Theory. I remember Mike saying something about, like, the the live from BBC versions of these songs, so like, NEM paper cut. Um, apparently the way they recorded these was, um, they mic'd everything up as if, um, the band was finna record an album, but they didn't mix nothing, so they kind of kept it raw, and they, it was basically like an in-studio performance. So I'm excited to hear the quality of those because he said it's real interesting. It's like almost like an album, but it's raw, and I like shit like that. So I got my December high voltage. I think those are the link, the hybrid theory versions of the song. Um, and we got a Marilyn Manson remix of By Myself. That'll be cool. And it's spelled B U Y, so it's like maybe I don't know, maybe a, a different cut of the one from Reanimation. So that'll that'll be tight to hear. But yeah, that's basically the whole thing. Um, sorry for making like a 15 minute video about this, but I thought it'd be tight as fuck to kind of share with y'all. So, yeah. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this. If you want me to do shit like this in the future, let me know. I will. Um, but like I said, I just wanted to share with y'all. Because I was real excited to get this. I've been waiting for a while. And... You know, I'm a massive Linkin Park fan. 
So this was a real cool thing to add to the collection. Anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. Hope y'all have a good day. Make Chester proud. Peace out.